everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at another uh, older tarot deck. It's called Simplicity Tarot by Emily Muniz. Um, it's been out for about a year and a half, released uh, last July 2021. We're in December uh, 2022, so about a year and five months, close to a year and a half. It's uh, in a small two-part uh, hard case box as you can see there is a thumb hole cut out a few pictures of the cards in the back it's published by US games uh, hard case box opens up here's the inside pretty blue it does come with a guidebook small size guidebook although larger than the little uh, the typical little white book cards are underneath and here's the inside of the box very pretty blue all right nice square hard case box to keep your cards in and we'll take a look at the guidebook at the end here are the backs of the cards I have not seen this deck it's one of those that popped up on my Amazon feed and uh, it's very nice and simple and it's a uh, she created it with the beginners in mind so it is gold gilded glitter gold gilded is what they called call it see there's a, it's a little you can see a little bit of the glitter very nice very nice simple deck and the card size let me grab my So it's taller, it's taller by that much compared to the traditional plaid back and it's also wider. I'm sorry, the plaid is shorter, getting my cards. So it's shorter than the plaid back, uh, traditional plaid back car size, but it's wider. All right, so shorter and wider. So nice for petite hands when you're sh overhand shuffling. Cardstock um, medium, it feels more plasticky versus papery. And there is a coating on it, as you can see. There is a laminate coating, but it is, it is flexible and bendable. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. I bought them because it's a very nice, simple deck um, that would be perfect for a uh, clarifier deck. You know, sometimes you just need a second deck to clarify. And uh, I have a lot of beginner, uh, new, p new people to Tarot that watch my channel. Um, and sometimes they ask is it good for beginners so this is definitely a beginners friendly deck because she designed it with the with that intention in mind per the uh, description on Amazon so as you can see there is a white border and then and then a thin black border uh, numbers up top the name of the card is at the bottom and then every card has a couple keywords uh, that is pertinent to the card so and I skimmed through them and the keywords are great. They're perfect and that's why I, I bought it personally as a clarifying deck because very uh, perfect keywords for the card. So, and great for someone learning. So we have the full, carefree and new beginnings. And the magician, manifestation and power. Very simple, but I like it very simple just what you need the high priestess intuition and mystery the empress fertility and nurturing the emperor set rules and authority the hierophant beliefs and ethics The lovers, romance, and commitment. The chariot, progress, and movement forward. 
strength, self-control, and courage. The Hermit, introspection and solitude. Wheel of Fortune, good luck and change. Justice, balance, and fairness. The Hanged Man, Sacrifice and Surrender. Death, Endings and New Beginnings. Temperance, Patience and Duality. The Devil, Bondage and Toxicity. The Tower, Destruction and Sudden Change. The star, hope, and spirituality. The moon, illuminate, and fears. I'm sorry, illusions and fears. The sun, happiness, and success. Judgment. Conclusions and awakening. The world, completion, and achievement. So that completes the major arcana. Now moving to the minor arcana, starting with the suit of wands. We have ace of wands, work and creation. Two of wands, contemplating an enterprise. Three of wands, progress and productivity. Four of Wands, Celebration and Stability. Five of Wands, Competition and Fighting. Six of Wands, Victory and Progress. Seven of Wands, Valor and Prevent... Valor and Perseverance. Eight of Wands, Acceleration and Movement. Nine of Wands, Guarded and Resilience. Ten of Wands, Burden and Laboring. Page of Wands, New Ideas and Creativity. Knight of Wands, Adventure and Passion. Queen of Wands, Courageous and Driven. King of Wands, Leadership and charismatic moving on to the suit of cups with ace of cups love and emotions two of cups partnership and true love three of cups festivities and fun four of cups boredom and disinterest five of cups pessimism and depression Six of Cups, The Pass and Innocence. Seven of Cups, Options and Pipe Dreams. Eight of Cups, Walking Away and Separation. Nine of Cups, Pry and Wishes Fulfilled. Ten of Cups, Contentment and Family. Page of Cups, Emotional Message and a surprise. Knight of Cups, Faithfulness and Romance. Queen of Cups, Intuition and Empathetic. King of Cups, Empathetic and Caring. Moving on to the suit of Swords, we have Ace of Swords with Success and Logic. Two of Swords, Crossroads and Undecided. Three of Swords, Heartbreak and Despair. Four of Swords, Rest and Meditation. Five of Swords, Conflict and Defeat. Six of Swords, Escape and Travel. Seven of Swords, Sneakiness and Thievery. Eight of Swords, Bondage and Imprisonment. Nine of Swords, Anxiety and Stress. 
Ten of Swords, Betrayal and Suffering, Page of Swords, On Guard and New Information, Knight of Swords, Aggression and, I'm sorry, there's like a glare, Aggression and Rapidness, Queen of Swords, Independence and Assertive, King of Swords, Dominant and Stern. Final suit is Coins with Ace of Coins, Prosperity and New Opportunity. Two of Coins, Juggling and Multitasking. Three of Coins, Art and Collaboration. Four of Coins, Greed and Control. Five of Coins, Illness and Poverty. Six of Coins, Charity and Help. Seven of Coins, Investment and Determination. Eight of Coins, Work and Learning a Skill. Nine of Coins, Abandon, I'm sorry, Abundance and Luxuries. Abundance and Luxury. Ten of Coins, Wealth and Family Unity. Page of Coins, Admiration and Money News. Knight of Coins, Productivity and Practical. Queen of Coins, Nurturing and Security. King of Coins, Leadership and Abundance. And there are two bonus cards in this deck. So there's a total of uh, 80 cards instead of 78 cards because traditionally 78 cards in a tarot deck and you get two bonus so that makes it 80 and this is one of the bonus cards spiritual cleansing and this is the other one spiritual guide. So these are the two bonus cards extra cards in this deck. All right and here are the backs one more time. And they are reversible. I didn't mention that at the beginning, but it's pretty obvious they're reversible. And they are gold gilded, as I mentioned. Very nice. All right, so let's take a look at the guidebook. So this is a little harder than the traditional little white book, but not hard like a textbook hard. All right, introduction all about the simplicity tarot. and it, I think it talks about the bonus cards simple tips to prepare for a reading preparing yourself for a tarot reading setting up cleansing and protecting a tarot reading space Credit, creating your tarot reading atmosphere visual work that's nice care for your simplicity tarot deck clearing your tarot decks Storing your tarot deck, connecting with your tarot deck. So this this is very nice for the beginner. How to conduct a tarot reading with the simplicity tarot. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Oh, so she breaks it down for you. Step five, step six, step seven, step eight. Oh, very nice. And then it goes into the cards. Oh no, these are example of tarot card readings interpretation. Oh, that's really nice. This is really nice for the beginner reader or someone new to tarot. Reading tarot reversal. So she explains how to read reversal. Quick and simple tarot reading tips. And then it goes into the major arcana, the fool, the magician. So she has a paragraph on each card, the upright keywords and then the reversal keywords paragraph upright reversal so there's no picture of the cards but you do get a, a paragraph worth and then upright keywords and reverse keywords and there's some blank pages in the back for notes total of 97 number pages about the illustrator, about the author, 
there is a few uh, spreads, simple tarot spreads at the end. So the Celtic Cross, my daily one card tarot reading, my daily reading tarot spread, other three card spreads. So very nice, informative little guidebook. So this is a, a really good, uh, really good deck for the uh, beginner or for someone who likes, you know, who collect the Rider weight, and you want to add another Rider weight deck to your collection that's a little different, or for someone like myself looking for a, a second deck, you know, to use as clarifier in their tarot reading. So this would be perfect because it has the little keywords. If you like keywords, I know some people don't like keywords. Me personally, I do like it. Sometimes when I'm channeling in a reading, and I'm in my right brain and not my left brain. Sometimes the keywords help me. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. Very nice, simple uh, deck. I really resonate with it. I like it a lot. So I think I'm gonna start using it. Oh, I, and I did concentrate this deck. So, um, so let's shuffle really quick so you can see. Cause I did, I did uh, add my energy to it and pray over it and bless it which I like to do is something I like to do before I shuffle and that's why a lot of times I don't shuffle on uh, camera because I'm so excited get the deck open it turn on the camera and start recording but this one I did pray over it and uh, add my energy like I said and connect with it and add my energy to it so it shuffles really nice you guys for petite hand people and let's see how it riffle shuffle It does riff or shuffle. They're a little hard for me, so I don't know if I can bridge. So let me break it to make it a little smaller. Oh, I can't bend it as hard, but you can eventually. You can. You probably can bridge. I have carpal tunnel in my in my uh, hand, in my wrist, so my and my thumb. So my thumb is weak. But you can riff. You can riff or shuffle. And you can probably bridge too. Now this is plastic versus papery, so that's why it's a little harder for me to bridge. But uh, overhand shuffle is very easy. And then of course the vertical way is easy as well. And then as I showed you, you can riffle shuffle. It will riffle shuffle, I just can't bridge. Look at all these cards flying out, the lovers, wow. The star <laughs> wish fulfillment and love for somebody watching two of wands planning king of wands a fire sign wow I wonder if those are messages for someone anyway hope you enjoy that and uh, I meant to show you how to shuffle and I forgot to so I'm glad I remind I remember before I turn off the camera so I will put the link uh, for this deck in the description at, as usual underneath the uh, video if you are interested in purchasing it or just uh, looking it up and reading more about it so I hope you enjoy it it's a nice uh, simple little deck but uh, I think I'm gonna uh, get a lot of use out of it so thanks for watching again and I will catch you again on the next video bye